Um, there's some questions about the asymptomatic carrier. Um, I, I understand that may be an important question, especially in the U.S. and other countries other than China. Uh, for in China, we actually um, don't purposely identify the asymptomatic carriers uh, in the past two months because after a certain uh, about two months of lockdown, almost all the uh, individuals that could possibly be infected has already been screened in the Wuhan city, and uh, uh, we see the in incidences of asymptom ca asymptomatic carriers outside Hubei province may not be that high in China. Um, so um, it, for these patients, if we, we uh, the, the major way of finding them is treating those symptomatic patients. For example, uh, one patient comes into the hospital and showed positive for the PCR of, uh, of COVID-19, then all the con close contact of the patients will be traced. And in this way, we may be able to find some asymptomatic carriers. And if we find them, these patients will be sent to the cabin hospital uh, for observations and quarantine and also observe if their symptoms will be getting worse uh, in the next few days. If there's no, they are no symptomatic and the CT scan is also clear, the patients will be kept under close observation for at least 14 days, which is a designated period of quarantine here in China, and then to see how it goes, if the symptoms worsens or if they are still discharge of virus. And there is also a question about the discharge of virus in the fecal samples. Um, that, is, that is actually ex um, uh, able to be explained because um, in many of the coronaviruses, the fecal discharge of virus, viral uh, parts of the virus can be observed. Even the patients have been recovered uh, from the disease itself. Uh, taking the 2003 SARS epidemic, for example, uh, we have actually observed patients who have been recovered from SARS, and then the SARS virus can still be tested PCR positive from their fecal discharge after one or two months of the recovery. So it is acceptable for con con coronaviruses to be discharged from the fecal samples, but the thing is that uh, do these have, uh, are infectious to others? Uh, one possibility, uh, one thing is uh, the PCR testing right now are still under discussion and uh, different uh, sample kits may provide different, uh, uh, may, uh, may have different sensitivities and specificities for testing. So the results of the PCR testing is also, should also, also be discussed. Um, and even for those who have been discharging P uh, viral par uh, parts of the virus, this may not be intact once after the people has been recovering. And none of the persons have right now been reported to have the symptoms again. And uh, there's no evidence showing that they can uh, transmit the virus to others.